because the scripture says that Jesus went and preached to the spirits that were imprisoned that were what? Disobedient in the days of Noah. They obviously had a command and Noah's testimony was telling them to come in and associate with the building of the ark. Come in and associate with that which is righteous. Come in and be a partakers of the grace of God. Come in. But they were disobedient in the days of Noah. So the Lord Jesus goes down. I want you to appreciate something today. If I can just give it in some kind of graphic way, if these were the people of Noah's day here, and you were the people of all other ages, and I have just died on the cross for you and I arrive down here, and I come and I say over the gulf, you're condemned because you didn't obey my word. All the others would be sitting there, and then I'd be gone, taking, leading captivity captive and gone, taking all the righteous back with me. And then there comes out the murmuring. Why did he speak only to them? Why did he speak only to them? And there would be a court of appeal because they are able to talk down there, you know that. The present time they can converse down there, this is what the Lord Jesus taught us. And there is a lot of conversation taking place and a lot of condemnation. Why were you people singled out? Why were you people singled out? One man stands up, Mr. King, the courage of his convictions, and he says, you see, we had a perfect example in Noah's day of what we should have done. And Noah was able to do it, we should have also been able to do it. Now I want to say to you today, when I think of the tenacity and the courage of Noah, God help me, to whom can I turn? Who has the words to eternal life? Who can help me out of my dilemma because I'm not the kind of personality that Noah was. I haven't got the same strength. I haven't got the same ability. Oh, behold the man. Jesus will see me through. Jesus will see me through, which means that I need to get to grips with this man. I need to come face to face with the Lord Jesus and say, Lord, at the judgment seat, if I can do what I have to do by your grace, then I'll build the ark. And no matter whether my wife forsakes me, no matter whether my children forsake me, no matter whether the world forsakes me, you'll give me grace to see it through. You enable me to have the courage to go on with it. And even though it takes a hundred years, the brethren I want to put to those of us that are in the ministry, those of us that are elders in an assembly, you know you may turn around and say, Brother Acting, I just feel I'm giving up. You know, I've been in the ministry five years. Five years and I haven't seen any fruit. He preached for a hundred and never got one convert. But he never gave up. But the president will say, but you know, brother, we've been in this place for ten years. It's hard as nails, not as hard as Noah's day. Oh, they were a hard lot. You know, that's what's going to be happening today. Well, if then we'll turn around and use the opposite uh, uh, example now. Lord, you know, Lord, for ten years I've been trying hard in this assembly. This is a hard place. Lord, I, I, I've been building the ark, but Lord, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put wings on this ark. Unless these people get something new, Lord, and they put a propeller on the front, and Lord, we'll put a sail at the back, and Lord, 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 we'll have music coming out the front of it. Something, Lord, we'll do. We'll have them do. Lord, we'll... Oh, am I right in what I'm saying? Let's just do it that way, Lord. That's all I did. I just felt that I had to get on. And the Lord will turn around and say to me, you were one of those who didn't do it my way. Hope we can only do it God's way. God help us today. You want to do it your way. No, you do it God's way. And that's what comes in my heart, that if we're not going to do it God's way, it's not worth doing. If we're not going to do it the Lord's way, I'm not prepared to do it. But you know, because we are a strange, peculiar people, it seems, and I have nothing to say about ourselves, we're all sinners saved by grace. There's one thing prevalent in our fellowship for which I want to thank God. There seems to be in the main a willingness amongst us to do it God's way. Hallelujah. That's a great encouragement to me. And brethren, we're going to go on by the grace of God. We're not going to allow anybody to dictate to us. We're not going to have the world telling us what to do. We're not having the world in their symptoms of sickness and viciousness all around about us telling us what to do. And if I may say this to you, we're not having a pseudo church telling us what to do. We've got to do it God's way. If it seems to be the unpopular way, we'll do it God's way. If it seems to be the unsuccessful way, it's got to be God's way. But in the mind, in the night, when Jesus Christ came down, as it were, and he led captivity captive, and he said, come on, you're coming home with me. All those that have been obedient will turn around and say, hallelujah, it was worth it all. We've seen the Lord Jesus. And what stirs me this morning, 
What dominates my thinking, what dominates my understanding, what dominates my convictions this morning is this. I believe with all my heart when we get there, we'll be able to say it was worth it all. No matter what the price, no matter what the suffering, no matter what the rejection, no matter what the heartache, no matter what the discouragement, no matter how many people oppose us, we'll do it God's way. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray today, for surely, Lord, this is on our heart. If we cannot do it your way, we'd rather not do it at all. Because if we don't do it your way, we'll be lost anyhow. Lord, because we have no other alternative, we claim this, that we will want to do it your way. That's our decision. But Lord, we're going to need grace from you to do it. And Lord, the kind of grace that Noah found, grace that flooded his soul, grace that <coughs> established him, Grace, Lord, indeed, that saw him over every day and every night of disappointment and discouragement. When everything was going against him, grace somehow flooded his soul. And Lord lifted him up again. When he was getting weary in body, when there were calluses and corns upon his hands, when, Lord, many times he might have uh, bent his back and hurt himself, carrying those logs of timber to build the ark, many times when he was cajoled and shouted at, Lord, grace seemed to be the order of the day. He rose up. He was in a spirit of meekness, able to give him that asked the reason of the hope that lay within him with meekness and with fear. He never said die. Lord, he began the ark and he finished it. And all the time, Father, your long suffering was waiting in the days of Noah while the ark was preparing. You foreknew how many would get into that ark. But Lord, you triumphed this man. You triumphed his cause because you saw him as a symbol. You saw him as the status quo of heaven's requirement. That there could be amongst the human family a man who was willing to pay the price to do the will of our Heavenly Father. Father, could the Spirit that prevailed to give Noah grace prevail in this meeting today to give us grace? Oh God, Lord, we be not considered fanatical, but Lord, we could be considered serious with gravity, saying to thee, we're desperate for that grace. And Lord, how many of us have wanted to give up? How many of us have wanted to put wings on the ark? How many of us, Lord, have wanted to turn the church into a discotheque? How many of us, Lord, have wanted to bring all kinds of things in because we're not having the results? Lord, and we've done it because we didn't have the grace to see your way was the right way. Oh God, I pray today, captivate our hearts, capture our thoughts, bring us into line, bring us to a place where we can say, Lord, give us another opportunity. Give us another a, a, a time of grace whereby we can say, we'll do it your way, Lord. And in this, Lord, we'll be quick to give you the glory. I pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.